Uh, have you? I, I'm I'm like a loser this week because I really didn't watch really anything at all. Have you not watched Welcome to Chippendales yet? I'm surprised. No, I haven't. I've watched. We've watched all of it. We're up to date on that, and uh, I can definitely recommend that. There's only one. There's only one problem that I have with Welcome to Chippendales. Do you have you have Hulu, right? I do. Do you have the free, the ad free one or the ad one? No, I have it with ads because it's free. So that's the problem. The problem is they made it for the people who have the ads. So there are these abrupt ends to scenes to fit the ads in. And it really takes you out of it. Like it's just like slam the brakes on. It's not and a graceful. Everyone knows that everyone's favorite Chippendale dancer. No, is. there's no ad. No, 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 no. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just, just the scene ends. Do they freeze frame black. and it says we'll be right back in the background? No, it's not that bad. It's just With like oh. a dinosaur behind them. It's. I guess I'm just not used to seeing shows like that anymore, where they where they're clearly clearly breaking for ads because I'm watching stuff on Netflix and HBO Max. So it's really jarring, but the show is great. It's a lot of fun. There's something about when you watch any scene where the dancers are dancing in the club and the women are going crazy. It's just so fun. Like you can see, like it looks, it just looks fun. So it's hard to not have fun watching that. Well, I'm sure, you know, it's fun for almost everybody on that show. I'm saying even just watching it, like you can feel, yeah, you feel like the fun. Like it's hard not to smile watching like the women go crazy over the guys you know, ripping their pants off. Um, so I would, I would definitely recommend Welcome to Chippendales. If you have the ads, then, then it's, you won't even notice the, the abrupt things. But if you pay for the ad free Hulu, Hulu, you're going to be like, can I pay more for them to like edit this differently? Now you don't have Hulu with ads. You know what Hulu does with their ads? It's I don't. Easily, a lot of people complain about it, but you would, this I think would drive you nuts. Yes. So the volume for ads. Oh. Is about four times louder than the show you're watching. That should not be legal. Didn't they? I feel like there was a court case it's, about it's that. It's not. It's not legal on television. Uh, see, I knew it. But in but the there's wild, no wet law against of, right. it on streaming. It's a different. It's a different uh, medium. Right. It's so the world of online and, show and entertainment. Oh my goodness! And you just have to keep that volume box next to you because as soon as that ad hits, you're like down, 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 down. Right. I <laughs> see I I any ads would make me crazy at this at this point. I'm just so used to no ads. Anyway, watch w- Wombat. Watch Welcome to Chippendales. You're going to like it. It's fun. I have, I've been I was very busy uh playing video games all weekend. We'll get to video it. Video games. Fuck the video I games. I know. I know. You got to watch these naked dudes, man. Come on. Uh did you watch the the new Last of Us trailer no. on HBO? No. It's interesting. I, I don't. I don't think I play. I played a little of the first Last of Us game, mm-hmm. like on the first last. It, the first when it came out originally, not in one of the remasters. Mm-hmm. Um, regard. So I don't really know too much about it. But regardless, they did a very good job of making the movie, or at least the trailer, look like a video game. Not, an, and that's that's a compliment. It's not. You know, like, no, have you ever seen a movie that recreated the look of a video game? It's not easy to do. Like, it's mm-hmm. when you look at it, you're like, you're not sure if you're watching the trailer for a movie or a video game, a video game? Okay. but it's a lot, but it's all live action. and It looks very good. It's, it sounds like a criticism, but it's, I didn't, I thought it was, they did a good job. I felt like it would be hard to pull that off. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I, I was never really that interested in, in the game, let alone interested in a show based on the game. So. Or zombies in general, really. I don't even care if, if it's a game or not. Like, if you just said, here's a show about zombies and, like, there's a girl who's zombie-proof. I feel like we've seen that a lot. Yeah. Like, a lot, lot. And certainly we've seen it in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so if you played some of the game, you've, you've seen it. Um, but anyway, the trailer looks really good. And if you're a big fan of, of the game, then you got to be pretty fucking excited, I would think. Yes. Who's that guy that plays uh, Joel? Pablo? Uh, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Fuck, Pablo. Now who's racist and sexist? <laughs> Pablo, yikes. He's, is he Mandalorian? Yes. Okay. He, is the man, he is Mando. Hey, Mando. Yes. Yes. Oh, mm-hmm. Van in the chat is saying that Halo felt a little bit about like the game. Yeah, I didn't watch. I did not really watch much of that. Um, should we get into the new releases? 
Yes. I don't think we watched do anything it. else. We're still watching just um, White Lotus. You got to watch White Lotus. Come on. You know, my wife watches it. She's like into it. She thinks uh, it's great. Yeah, but she now you're. That show. But it's so it's too late for you. Yeah, you have to much. watch the first season. I know. 